The Ryzen 9 7900X is still a solid powerhouse when it comes to sheer powerful processors. As such, pairing it up with a proper CPU cooler is essential. This can be a tough choice considering the vastness of available options. In this video, I picked three coolers that deliver the right balance of cooling performance, noise levels, and build quality for different budgets. You can check current prices for all CPU coolers mentioned in the description below. Let's jump in. Number 3. Thermal Right Peerless Assassin 120 SE – Best Budget CPU Cooler for Ryzen 9 7900X The Thermal Right Peerless Assassin 120 SE is an affordable air cooler that packs a lot of cooling prowess. For me, it's become the spiritual successor to the ever-popular Cooler Master Hyper 212 as the king of budget air coolers. It has plenty of cooling room thanks to six copper heat pipes and two 120mm fans. At stock settings, it can dissipate 120 watts of heat, which means that a CPU like the Ryzen 9 7900X will never overheat during gaming and other workloads. At its peak, it can dissipate 250 watts of heat, which is more than the 7900X all-core maximum load. It stays silent even at max load, because the fans only spin at 1500 RPM, which results in about 25 decibels. The direct competition to the Peerless Assassin is the Be Quiet Pure Rock 2, which is overall a much better air cooler in terms of aesthetics. It's slightly narrower in size as well, which gives it the advantage of fitting better with other cases. However, the Pure Rock 2 is rated at only 150 watts of heat, unlike the 250 watts of the Peerless Assassin, which is also cheaper and this adds to its value even more. The only other cooler I would consider is the Cooler Master Hyper 212. However, this is designed to sustain a maximum heat output of 125 watts, which is half of what the Peerless Assassin can do. The Peerless Assassin is also compatible with many more CPU sockets. The downside of the Peerless Assassin is its large size, which is a blessing in terms of cooling performance and quietness, but makes it hard to fit in smaller PC cases. So you should ensure that whatever case you choose has at least 155mm height clearance. Overall, the Thermal Ride Peerless Assassin 120 SE is one of the most affordable air coolers that offers a lot of cooling performance for an incredibly low price. It's hard to overlook it as an option even when looking for a low-cost cooler for far more power-hungry CPUs. All this make it an incredible budget option to pair with the Ryzen 9 7900X. Number 2. NZXT Kraken Elite 360 RGB – Best Premium CPU Cooler for Ryzen 9 7900X If you're in the market for a high-end liquid cooler, the NZXT Kraken Elite 360 RGB is an excellent option. NZXT has been making AIOs for quite some time, and the Kraken Elite 360 promises to deliver premium thermal performance that is capable of handling AMD and Intel's flagship CPUs. On top of the great performance, it has great looks, low noise levels, and premium fans. Additionally, it has its fair share of revisions. You can get it with either a 240 or 280 mm radiator, and both of those options are cheaper than the 360 version. Of course, if you're looking for the best possible performance, the Elite 360 is the best choice. It's also available in a non-RGB version, which is slightly cheaper. Compared to the previous generation of Kraken coolers, the Elite 360 looks very familiar. It's available in all black and all white versions and marks the return of the LCD display. This time around, the TFT LCD display is a 2.36 inch panel with a 640x640 640 resolution. It has a 60Hz refresh rate and good brightness. Of course, you can use NZXT's CAM software to change what's displayed on the screen. You can even upload your image, GIF, or video. The customization possibilities are endless. Now on to performance. NZXT is using Asetek's 7th generation pump technology, which delivers excellent reliability and performance. The pump's motor speed is rated at 800 to 2800 RPM, so it packs plenty of power to tame any CPU, including the Ryzen 9 7900X. As for the fans, NZXT is using its own F120P blower fans with fluid dynamic bearings. NZXT stands behind the durability of these fans and the pump with its six-year warranty. In terms of cooling performance, the Kraken Elite 360 has no problem handling a chip like the 7900X. 
At idle, you can expect temperatures of 40 to 45 degrees Celsius. At max load, you can expect anywhere from 75 to 80 degrees, depending on how intensive the workload is. This is well within the normal operating temperature of the CPU, and it compares well against similarly classed AIOs. So it's safe to say that it leaves a lot of thermal headroom for any CPU. Even with overclocking, thermal throttling won't be much of a problem. The only problem here is the price, as many similarly priced coolers offer nearly the same level of performance. For example, the main competitors here are the Corsair H170i Elite Capilex 420mm and the Lian Li Galahad 2 Trinity Performance. Both of these coolers offer near identical performance to the Kraken Elite 360, and both are slightly cheaper. However, there are a few reasons why the Kraken Elite 360 is better. For one, it has a more compact radiator with a thickness of 27mm. This means it will fit into cases easier than the H170i Elite Capilex, which has a 420mm radiator. As for the Galahad 2 Trinity, there have been quite a lot of issues with reliability. NZXT's cooler won't have this problem as it's using a tried and true Acetec pump. Finally, the Kraken Elite 360 is very quiet. Even when spinning at max speed, the fans don't get too loud at all. NZXT did a great job of tuning these fines to near perfect noise levels. So while the pump is powerful, it doesn't get too noisy. It's one of the more silent options out of the other comparable high-end AIOs. The only real downside here, then, is the price. It's an excellent CPU cooler that looks great, performs well, and doesn't get noisy at all. If you can stomach the price and are going with a high-end build with the Ryzen 9 7900X, it's one of the best options out there. Number 1. Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 280 ARGB – Our Top Choice Considering its competitive pricing, the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 280 ARGB is arguably the best 280mm liquid CPU cooler on the market. It blends superb performance, value, low noise levels, and great looks in an aggressively priced package. While it's affordable, this cooler is anything but cheap. It's an almost enthusiast-grade cooling solution at a fraction of the price. Let's get the basic stuff out of the way first. It consists of a 280mm radiator and two 140mm Arctic P-series fans. These are high-pressure static fans that are specifically designed for AIO coolers, and the fan speed is rated at 200 to 1700 RPM. As for the pump, it's not using an Acetec pump. Instead, Arctic is using its own efficient PWM-controlled pump that outperforms a lot of options in the market. And this is where things start to get interesting. Compared to its predecessor, the Liquid Freezer 2, the Freezer 3 has a lot of new tricks up its sleeve. For one, it comes with an Intel LGA1700 contact frame that replaces the stock ILM. This Arctic contact frame distributes contact pressure on the integrated heat spreader more evenly. This might sound like nerd talk and a bit gimmicky, but for a demanding high-end processor, we need all the cooling we can get. This aftermarket contact frame paired with Arctic's new pump helps a lot in controlling temperatures. Arctic has always had ingenious solutions to these tiny problems, as seen with the VRM fan on their previous Liquid Freezer 2. Speaking of which, the VRM fan is back, and it's bigger than before. If you remove the pump cover on the Liquid Freezer 3, you'll find that inside is a large fan that helps to cool the voltage converters on the motherboard. Again, this is a feature present on the Liquid Freezer 2, but it's more effective here because of the larger fan. Sadly, with an enthusiast-grade CPU cooler such as this one, there are bound to be some issues for those who are not used to all this technical stuff. For example, removing the stock ILM and replacing it with the Arctic's contact frame is an added step that most people are not used to. It makes the installation more finicky, and that might turn some people away. However, in return, you're getting a CPU cooler that offers innovative features with excellent performance. This 280mm cooler is capable of outperforming some 360mm coolers on the market, and that's saying a lot. At this price, there are other options like the Kraken X53 and the highly reliable Cooler Master ML240 RGB V2. Both options are easier to install, but the Liquid Freezer 3 is arguably the best looker out of them and performs better especially when it comes to noise levels and durability. However, make sure you check out Arctic's CPU Cooler Compatibility Checker to see if the cooler will fit properly on your motherboard or not, as the pump of this cooler might block the first M2 slot if your SSD has an oversized heatsink.
Overall, this is an ingenious CPU cooler that delivers impressive performance at a very reasonable price, and that makes it our top choice for the Ryzen 9 7900X. Thanks for watching! I hope this helped you figure out which is the right CPU cooler for your build. Remember, you can check current prices in the description below. And if you're interested in more PC building suggestions and hardware reviews, be sure to check out more of my videos. Before you go, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to stay updated, and let me know your opinion and suggestions in the comments. See you in the next one.